Okay, I wanted to share how I've been exploring Gitpod, uh, and I will introduce the problem a little bit first. Uh, I have this samples repo for work, where basically you have to check out this mega repo of just all these example code, and then you have to run it against uh, what we have for a temporal server, which takes a bit of setup. You have to read the right node version, node jip, and then temporal server needs Docker. Uh, and Docker desktop has been a huge pain. It's been eating up my resources and completely slowing my development down. So I today decided that I would no longer use Docker on my machine. Therefore, I wanted to start developing in the cloud. And I heard a lot about Gitpod, and today I decided to take the plunge. So essentially, Gitpod is a development environment in the cloud and you just click this button and what it does is you give it the url to clone and it's just going to start cloning that and i've also gone ahead and set up the uh the yaml the gitpod yaml configuration so that when you when you land inside a gitpod for the first time this obviously is taking a while but when you land inside of the gitpod for the first time uh you can actually just set up some basic stuff like um npm install when you when you launch uh, and stuff, stuff like that. So here here it is. It's uh, it's saying npm install and then Docker compose up. Um, so maybe the npm install isn't actually necessary because uh, we don't actually really need the npm install, but it's just a nice to have. And so I might as well get it out of the way. And uh, I might look into doc. Gitpod has a pre build feature. Pre build. Um, so this is why the init is taking a while. Uh, and then the Docker Compose cannot be helped. Um, that's how you, you set up the server. So uh, let's just wait for that to finish. But in the meantime, I'm going to check out pre-build. Um, I think this is like the paid feature. Uh, we have to hook it up somehow with some Gitpod app and all that. Uh, and I'm not sure I, I have it running, to be honest. So I'm um, just going to skip ahead. Okay, so the Docker Compose has been stood up, which is really nice. And that also means that we have some ports that are available. Uh, I think we can just click on these ports to see which are available. These are the standard ones that I've opened. Uh, and over here, you can actually see that, I think if you just click, for example, 8088, this is the address of the UI. There's nothing else going on right here, so it's time for us to run our first workflow. So I'm gonna go over to Hello World and check it out so i think i just have to npm install uh and follow the instructions on the readme essentially so uh, we have invested quite some time into making sure the readme makes sense um, and then we can npm run start watch so now we have npm installed i can run npm run start watch and that is going to kick off our worker and I'm going to make a little terminal over here. Uh, I don't know. That runs npm run workflow. Ah, I need to be in the right folder. And it executes a single workflow that says hello world. And you can see that in our UI, we can refresh and that shows up as well. So all of Temporal is running entirely within the browser. Uh, including the terminal and the execution and we can switch back and forth like we would on desktop and that is a fantastic proof of concept for Gitpod and I really appreciate it.